Expired. Does the gentleman yield back? The gentleman, the gentleman yields back, and, and uh, I now recognize Ms. Scanlon from Pennsylvania for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So as I understand it, and I'm, you know, regulatory, lawmaking, whatever, it's not something we talk about usually over the dinner table, not something I get a lot of questions about in my town halls. But as I understand it, this hearing's been called to address concerns about the proper balance between Congress and the federal agencies on how we create rules and regulations with enough detail to implement and oversee the laws that Congress passes for the benefit, presumably, of the American people. And those rules have a huge impact on public health and safety. Um, when we get in a plane, it helps ensure the plane's not gonna crash, that when we eat food, it's safe, and or so is medications that we take. Um, businesses can't scam us out of our hard-earned dollars, and employers have to provide safe workspaces. So these are all the things that these regulations do. And uh, as I understand it, we have about four to 6,000 of these rules published every year. Um, but to hear what we're hearing in the rhetoric today, um, these federal agencies are running roughshod over Congress, and there's nothing Congress can do about it. But that's not how it works. Um, basically, an agency convenes, as we've heard, experts and seeks public input and publishes rules. And there's a whole process where people can have input, we can look at this. And before the, these regulations take effect, Congress has to be notified. And with respect to major regulations, which is what this RAIN Act seeks to address, and there's about 60 to 80 of them a year, it ebbs and flows a little bit, um, those laws, can't, those regulations can't take effect for an additional 60 days after Congress is notified. So Congress has this window in which to say, nope, don't like that law, nope, we wanna change it in some way, and in fact, is trying to do that as we speak. So if Congress isn't using that authority, it's not the federal agency's fault, it's, I think as, as people have variously described it today, it's a matter of congressional neglect, that there's a vacuum, that there's a lack of bandwidth and staffing. So it appears to me uh, a better use of resources that if we want to adjust some of the terms of the act or provide more resources to Congress so Congress can better exercise its oversight capability, that's where we should be pushing instead of trying to add additional workload to Congress requiring passage of more bills through the Senate. I mean, I think we do have bipartisan agreement that the Senate doesn't work fast enough as it is now, and to require it to pass every major regulation that the federal government needs to put into effect for the health and safety of Americans would be a huge disservice. So just turning to the practical impact of what we're talking about here. Um, it's my understanding that the RAINS Act could undo multiple major rules, including many that keep our kids safe. Professor Hammond, could you give us a couple examples of regs that protect our children, whether from consumer products or food or medication? Uh, yes, um, indeed. I, the one that I mentioned earlier um, with respect to soot, um, it, Kids, of course, are more vulnerable to air pollution, and um, that's a proposed regulation, um, particularly for people, um, kids who have asthma as well as others. Um, so I don't have a specific example in mind from some of the other agencies, but that's one that I think is a great one. Well, and that particularly resonates um, with me because the Philadelphia area has one of the highest rates of childhood asthma in the country, one in four kids in our region has environmentally induced childhood asthma. It's a huge, huge problem. Um, and so uh, obviously I, I, for one, would like our best experts looking at these things and trying to figure out how we can best ensure the safety of, of our children. Um, and with that, I would ask unanimous consent to introduce a letter from the American Lung Association, Allergy and Asthma Network, National Association of Pediatric Nurse Practitioners, and a whole range of folks um, expressing um, their strong opposition to the RAINS Act because of its harmful impact on our communities. And with that, I would yield back after unanimous consent. Without objection. And, Thank you. Um, 